Voters turned out in Russia's Kursk border region on Saturday for local and regional elections, despite Ukraine's incursion into the territory. Russian state TV showed footage of local residents voting at polling stations in universities and other public institutions. Russians will elect governors in 25 regions, legislative assembly members in 13 regions, including two in annexed Crimea, and scores of local officials. The most important thing is that people go to vote because we want peace, said one local resident, Ekaterina Sherbakova. Last month Kiev made a surprise move to seize territory in the Kursk region and still occupies land there. взрывов после всяческих прилетов после дронов после вот этих всех уже мы все это видели поэтому нам уже ничего не страшно и самое главное что люди идут голосовать потому что да реально мы хотим мира мы хотим чтобы у нас в курской области был мир покой чтобы все жили счастливо долго вот для этого мы идем сюда а бояться нам уже нечего Курский народ, мы люди сильные, и лично меня ситуация сейчас с сиренами, с работой ПО никак не угнетает, я к этому спокойно отношусь. Как вам в таких условиях получится? Мы привыкли. Нормально, нужно знания получать в любом случае. То самое время, когда необходимо проявлять единство, приходить всем и показывать свое волю и заявление. Это наше конституционное право. Donald Trump accepted a key endorsement from one of the nation's most influential law enforcement lobbies on Friday by offering a sweeping indictment of the U.S. legal system that has convicted him of almost three dozen felony counts and indicted him in three other pending cases. The Fraternal Order of Police Convention in the battleground state of North Carolina was billed as a way for Trump to pitch himself as a law and order figure and cast his Democratic opponent. Vice President Kamala Harris, a former prosecutor and California Attorney General, as weak. But in between remarks about crime and law enforcement, the former president and Republican nominee celebrated a New York judge's decision earlier in the day to postpone his sentencing on 34 felony counts in a business fraud case until after Election Day. Big news today is that the Manhattan DA witch hunt against uh, me has been postponed because everyone realizes that there was no case because I did nothing wrong. It's a witch hunt. It's a, an attack by my political opponents in Washington, D.C. As we gather today, American cities, suburbs, and towns are totally under siege. Kamala Harris and the communist left have unleashed a brutal plague of bloodshed, crime, chaos, misery, and death upon our land. In city after city, the law-abiding citizen is forced to live in fear and danger and in filth. Mothers can't take their kids to the park. Graffiti is everywhere. The innocent are victimized in random attacks, very brutal attacks and slangs are absolutely commonplace. Mobs of criminals walk into stores and clean out thousands of dollars in merchandise with absolutely no fear of punishment because you're not allowed to do your jobs. Over the past four years, Kamala Harris and the Radical Democrat Party have led a war on law enforcement in America. They're against you so strongly. As a result, families that do everything right and carry this country on their shoulders have watched helplessly as their communities dissolved all around them. Kamala Harris and the Radical Liberals force anarchy on the American people while they, they live in safety, in many cases behind walls. My administration will issue hundreds of millions of dollars in federal grants to reward cities and towns and return to proven crime-fighting methods, including stop-and-frisk and, and broken-windows policing. And working with 
Local law enforcement, we will launch a federal task force to dismantle the gangs, the street crews, and the criminal networks that are ravaging our towns. This will include a 10-year mandatory minimum sentence for anyone guilty of human smuggling, a guaranteed life sentence for any guilty child trafficking. and the death penalty for drug dealers and anyone guilty of child or woman sex trafficking, which they are doing at numbers which are massive. And we're also calling for a strong death penalty for anyone who kills a police officer. We will dispatch ICE and the elite teams of federal law enforcement to clear out the gangs from Aurora and every other American city that's being torn up and victimized. And we'll get MS-13 and other vicious gangs out of our schools, out of our high schools, your communities, and out of our country. We're going to get them out of our country.